good? Mm -hmm. All righty. Well, hey there, my name is Brian. I'm here to give you my, my story. And um, here we go. Um, I'm uh, the middle of three boys. I grew up with uh, great, great parents who were married 60 years till my mom passed in a middle-class family. Um, had really everything that we needed growing up. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful childhood. Uh, from early on, my um, my mom and dad made sure we attended church. We went to uh, Worthington United Methodist Church. Uh, we went every Sunday, whether we wanted to or not. But uh, I was grateful that my mom and dad um, made us go. And um, it's something I clung, clung to later in life. But my mom was a kindergarten Sunday school teacher for 30 plus years there at Worthington United Methodist. So it was just, uh, it was just a really good upbringing. And um, uh, after that, uh, made it through high school and then uh, ended up down here at Kentucky Wesleyan College, um, partial uh, academic scholarship and a partial soccer scholarship. So um, yeah, played soccer for four years down here. Um, Captain of the team, all conference three years. So really enjoyed my time. Uh, joined the Sigma Nu fraternity and um, really enjoyed that. Made some lifelong friends there at the fraternity um, and ended up being the president of the fraternity for my last year there. So uh, really enjoyed my my college life. And um, that's kind of where I got I got started with, uh, I was the, uh, the party guy um, and Somehow I made it through college and made it through soccer and got my grades and got my uh, degree, uh, even with all the, uh, the the partying that I did. So, but I did have a good time. And um, once I got out of uh, graduated from Wesleyan, um, started working at a chemical plant in uh, Columbus, Ohio, and um, we were on rotating shifts. And the guys that I rotated with. Um, were also partiers. So when we would get off of our, our shift, we would head to a bar, head to the golf course, and, um, and just, just have a good old time. And it really, uh, the drinking didn't really affect my life too much. Um, um, but, you know, I was, I was drinking more than I, I should be drinking. And it finally, finally caught up to me. I started a new job with, well, I was with the same company, but got uh, transferred into sales and moved up to Chicago. And um, just uh, the, the guys, I, I graduated from beer to hard liquor. And um, the, the guys that I worked with were, were heavy drinkers, partiers, and uh, rubbed off on me. So to be one of the guys, I just joined right in. And um, after four or five years, we got transferred back to Central Ohio. Um, at that point, I got promoted. I think I was the youngest product manager uh, in the company, I think in the history of the company. So it's, uh, in my mind, the drinking wasn't affecting anything I was doing. Um, I was just going through life, um, and, and doing, doing what I need to do. And at, at some point that, uh, the drinking, um, uh, started to take over. I, I, I think myself thought that I could handle, uh, more and more. And, um, it really turns out that I couldn't, it got to the point where, um, the company sent me to a program to dry out for, uh, I think it was a month long program and, um, uh, then went for probably two or three months. And then I, I thought I had the strength to, uh, I can, I can, uh, I can have a beer. It, it won't hurt me. And then as they say in AA, the first beer will get you drunk. And it did. And I relapsed and, uh, got worse than I was in the first place. And uh, ended up losing my losing my job uh, because of that, and uh, came close to losing my wife and my daughter and our home, and um, it was just uh, it was just a tough period, and uh, it got to the point they always say you have to hit rock bottom, and I was at rock bottom, and um, finally just had to um, thank thankfully for my. Um, Sunday school and uh, the, being in church when I was younger, I knew I needed to reach out to Jesus to save me uh, because I couldn't do it on my own. And um, it, it wasn't easy. I, uh, I went through uh, rehab by myself, dried myself out with all the, uh, 
all the side effects and everything when you're drying out is no fun. And, um, but um, Jesus stood right next to me and, and held my hand and comforted me and uh, got, me, got me through it. And uh, I think I was 31 years ago um, that, I, that I quit drinking. And I just thank God every day that, uh, and pray every day that uh, I, don't, I don't pick up a drink, that, uh, that God, uh, he has been faithful and he stood right beside me and uh, got me to where I am today. And um, through his work uh, in me, I am, I'm now um, active in my church. Um, I'm chairman of the Ad Council, uh, and I do uh, short-term mission work. I started out in Haiti and, um, and that have moved on to uh, Africa. And after 18 short-term mission trips, getting ready for my 19th mission trip, um, God has just done wonderful things in my life to... Uh, allow me to show his love to people uh, all around the world to um, to just try and let them know what uh, God can do in their lives because it, he can do certainly uh, amazing things and he's done amazing things in my life. So um, it's just, uh, I'm grateful every day for um, every extra day that he gives me that um, my wife and daughter gave them the strength and the patience to stick beside me through uh, through all the hard times, and um, right now we're just uh, living living just a wonderful life, and um, just so thankful for everything that He provides. I just give all the praise, honor, and glory to uh, to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So, I'm hoping that seven. My name is Brian Hall, and that's my story in seven. <laughs>